Yoruba Group, ACF, Ohaneze, Middle Belt Firm, Fault Gumi, over monetary and land demands for bandits. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Again, controversial Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Abubakar Gumi is in the eye of a storm following his advice to the federal government to give land and money to bandits so that they could stop killing Nigerians. Now the news in detail. In a live stream on his Facebook page on Tuesday, he said past the term to broker peace with bandits failed because they were not compensated with lands or cattle or money big enough to help halt hostilities. However, the Ohane Zendibu, the Middle Belt Forum, Yoruba Self-Determination Group, Ilana Omudua, and other eminent Nigerians said his comment is akin to ceding part of Nigeria land to foreigners. National Publicity Secretary of Ohane Zendibu, Chief Alex Obona, described Gumi's advice as condemnable and urged the government to, as a matter of unjustice, investigate him. He is a security threat to Nigeria because, from all indication, he knows and relates with the bandits. Gumi's position in Nigeria is very clear. He is a security threat. He lives a double life. The one he sees as religious life, that is his public life, is completely at variance with his life as an associate of bandits. The government should investigate him and deal with him seriously, he stated. From the president of the Middle Belt Forum, MBF, Dr. Paul Gubitros, it is unfortunate that a cleric who is supposed to be showing people the way is the one misleading people. He wondered how Gumi expects government to reward criminals who derive pleasure in killing innocent people. How can you reward killers? With whose land and whose money, he queried. The government should deal with the bandit. If Gomi wants to join them, he is free to do that, but no piece of Nigerian lands will be given to the bandit. He noted that many of the bandits were foreigners and listened to Gomi's advice would only amount to ceding parts of Nigeria to foreigners. It will not happen, and I do not believe this government will tow that line. No wise said government will tow that line, he stated. Prof. Banji Akindoye, Yoruba Self-Determination Group, Ilano Omodua IOO, also lashed out at Gumi for his suggestion. The group said Gumi is representing an interest and the suggestion has vindicated its position that what is happening in Nigeria is a state-sponsored terrorism. IOO Media and Publicity Officer Maxwell Adelaye wondered why the federal government is persecuting Sunday Adeyema, popularly known as Sunday Ibuhu, and other self determination groups who neither bear arms nor kill, but has refused to arrest and prosecute Gumi, who openly associate with terrorists. This is an actual vindication of those of us in Elano Omodua and Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination, NINES, that what is going on in Nigeria is state sponsored terrorism. We know what Gumi represents. It is clear that he is representing an interest. He has been openly associating with terrorists and posing for pictures with them. Yet he is walking the streets free. Why Sunday Ibuho and other self-determination groups are languishing in jail? The Niger Delta militants were protesting the degradation of the environment by crude oil spillage that has prevented them from fishing and farming. But what are the so-called bandits protesting for? What are their grievances? These people masquerading as bandits are terrorists. Their mission is to make the region ungovernable so that they will be paid part of a crude oil money from the Niger Delta. Their mission is also to hijack the land belonging to the Nigerian people. Arawa Consultative Forum, ACF, has expressed disappointment over Sheikh Amai Goodman's appeal to the federal government that bandits should be set free and be compensated. National Publicity Secretary of ACF, Emmanuel Yahweh, told Delison that Islam does not encourage such statement, adding that it is too strange to hear such statement from a Muslim leader. We have never had such statement from a Muslim. It is un-Islamic to call for compensation for those who kill and kidnap innocent citizens. How then do you reward innocent citizens that were killed and kidnapped? Yahweh said. 
Now, this is, all, this is very, very troubling. It is troubling to listen to. Sincerely, everyone is now coming out and is now screaming. Look, from the onset, immediately this man came out, I said, no, 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 no. This man is, is up to no good. The same bandits that are already grabbing lands. Look, he's already, it's like he's saying things when things have happened. Yes. You are saying they should give land to bandits. Bandits have currently, in Sokoto, they have made Sokoto their base. In fact, in some local government areas in Sokoto, they chased away their heads, their community head, and imposed new community heads on them. And they are leaving them heavily. They have been able to generate 66 million out of it. If you ask me where this information is coming from, the way I'm even asking, okay, who is giving out this information? Do the people hold a press conference? I'm certainly short of words. But that is what the information getting to was said. Now, these people are living people heavily. People that do not have enough. That in fact, their VAT is usually very low. They are now exploiting and extorting these people. Making life a living hell. Grabbing their land already. And taking money. And here saying, oh. Do you know that if he is not from that region of a country, let us call a speed a speed. Do you know if he does not come from any not it from the, from northern Nigeria? Of course, you know what what would have happened to him. Information getting to us was that yesterday a girl was arrested.